Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, once again, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now let's get into it. Do you always find yourself stressed out and overwhelmed? Not sure if you're falling into bad habits that hurt you and destroy your chances of finding lasting contentment? These habits tend to fly beneath our radars because we're unaware of the damage they do to our mental health, such as the increased risk of depression and anxiety. So to help you take your power back and stop this negative cycle, we've made this video to help you recognize six habits that may destroy your emotional well-being. Number one, suppressing your emotions, especially anger. Do you push away your feelings in hopes that they'd eventually go away? While it may seem convenient at the time to ignore that sadness or anger inside of you, suppressing your emotions can actually do more harm than good in the long run. According to the anger management coach, Dr. Schinner, anger has been linked to low self-esteem, depression, obesity, high blood pressure, and more. So the emotions you refuse to acknowledge and confront may later manifest itself into worsening physical and mental problems. Number two, Letting the stress get to you and letting it pile up. What do you do when you are stressed? Similar to suppressing your emotions, stress can find a way to get to you. Letting your stress levels get out of control by not expressing it or by overanalyzing your situation can be an unhealthy habit. When stressed, your brain releases a hormone called cortisol. And when this hormone is produced in large amounts, it can prevent the brain from functioning as it should. Constant high levels of stress also increase your likelihood of getting sick. Number three, negative thoughts and feelings that you've failed constantly. Have you found yourself thinking that you're a failure or that you're not good enough to achieve your goals? Constantly having these negative thoughts plague your mind can become very harmful to your self-esteem and emotional well-being. You may find yourself unmotivated to set any goals or to attempt to complete any task because you've started to fear that you're not good enough. So it's important to recognize when you're having these negative thoughts and to consider talking to a mental health professional if it gets worse. Number four, being on social media all the time. How much time do you spend on social media? Do you find yourself mindlessly scrolling and pressing the heart button a lot? Spending an excessive amount of time on social media isn't always great for your mental health. Firstly, it can affect your posture since people tend to hunch over their phones most of the time. Are you slouching right now? Straighten up. Secondly, you may end up comparing yourself to what other people have put online, which may affect your self-esteem and cause a cycle of negative thoughts to plague your mind. Number five, not being true to yourself. Have you ever agreed to something you didn't want to simply because you thought that's what your friends wanted you to do? Are you living your life for yourself? or for others. Maybe you want to avoid conflict or to please the people in your life, but by constantly doing what others tell you to do, you may end up suppressing your own needs and wants, which can be devastating to your emotional well-being in the long run. And number six, bad posture. Do you tend to hunch over your desk when you're working or when you're scrolling on your social media newsfeed? According to a study in the Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry, Upright posture can have a positive effect on your emotional well-being, such as by reducing fatigue. The preliminary study's conclusions suggested that adopting an upright posture may increase positive effects, reduce fatigue, and decrease self-focus in people with mild to moderate depression. Do you relate to any of these signs mentioned here? I did. Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon so that you'll get notified every time Psych2Go posts a new video. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in our next video.